with a screen for LeBron. The pass to Reeves. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. He can be a forgotten man in their offense sometimes, but, you know, the defense still needs to keep an eye on him. Well, since the new CBA, the league has made the luxury tax much more punitive. But certainly the Lakers, blessed with the financial wherewithal to, to be a, a tax-paying team. The problem is it can hurt your flexibility uh, under the new rules just to make deals. And that's going to be the challenge for L.A. Sunday, good on the 13-footer. Smart. Use that big height advantage. Get the shot off. Well, it's hard to put a big man on him, Steve, that far from the hoop. I mean, he's versatile. No good from LeBron. Well, with that much space off the pick, you've got to drop that in. Yeah, you got to make that one. I mean, that's a high-quality shot you should make nine out of ten times. He was all alone on that one. Well, you talk about the huge fan base for the Lakers, Clark. One of the marquee franchises, certainly in the entire NBA. I would even stretch that to all of sports schedule. The market and their finances clearly have helped them gain that stature, but you can't shortchange the organization, the people making the decisions. They've been a winner for a long time, and that's been the magic ingredient that's attracted fans, players, sponsors, the full package. The Timberwolves have gone two or three here to start off the game. Here's Edwards. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Well, probably the right play defensively. If you can't get the block, send them to the free throw line. Don't give them an easy two. No easy buckets inside. Force free throws and work to keep them out of the lane next time around. And he knocks down the first one. He's off on the second. Probably the biggest knock on Anthony Davis you could make his rookie season is that he missed a lot of time with injuries, and that's really not something you knock a guy for. Ankle, a concussion. He missed several stretches. Kind of a shaky first few minutes. Guys, five field goal attempts, only one made. Nick Daniel, the best to Edwards. A Timberwolves working the ball around. Hands it from downtown. Five points. For Los Angeles, they've gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Reeves the pass to Davis. And out of bounds is the Timberwolves gain possession. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. A drive by Russell. Edwards with it. He's picked up by LeBron. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. Timberwolves leading by four. Here is Edwards. Outside Russell. Pass to McDaniel. Kicks it to Russell from the arc. The shot is off. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. And I think Doris Burke has some for us right now. Doris? Hey, Kevin. I spoke with the Lakers head coach. He said the key to this matchup will be their ability to limit the quality looks close to the basket. When facing a team like this one, he said, you don't stand a chance giving up easy looks inside. Guys? All right, Doris. Thank you very much. So it's Minnesota now. After LeBron's three-pointer that didn't go. Pass to McDaniel. Lots of room. Good. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. And Davis, here we go. Now the pass to Reeves. Outside Westbrook. LeBron kicks to Westbrook. Those three-pointers off the mark. Timberwolves on offense. Big run right now going for him, 11-2. Edwards with it. He's picked up by LeBron. Russell. Again, Russell missing. Lakers trail by six. Outside Westbrook. LeBron kicks to Westbrook. And again, no good by the Lakers. 
The Timberwolves have gone 50% from the field to this point, four of eight. The dish to Russell. Let's it go with the three. That's good. All these open threes they're giving up have really been the driving force of this run. I agree, guys, and the points add up in a hurry when you start giving up easy looks from long range. LeBron gets the screen from Reeves. Westbrook kicks to Davis. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Minnesota leading by nine. Russell passes to McDaniel. Back to Russell. He passes to McDaniel. They get it again. There's Gobert, and he can't extend the lead to double digits. Take a look at the rebound totals, guys. That's plus five now on the glass. And, Steve, I don't think there's any question which team came out with more energy and enthusiasm. Timberwolves have gone just a shade under 50% from the field. Five of 11. Passes it to Edwards. Off target from three-point range. Pass to McDaniel. The three. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Smooth, guys. Very good job there of getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. And you know, those kind of players in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes uh, as much as any single play in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they really can. I mean, they can't allow him to beat them to uh, so many of those offensive rebounds. That'll kill you. Now, here is Russell. After the miss from Reeves. Here's McDaniel. Connects from three-point range. Lakers trail by 12. Davis with a screen on Edwards. Or three, Westbrook. Here's Jones. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. He got a great read of where that miss was going. And that allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the putback. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Minnesota? Well, they've definitely had the hot hand from the three-point line so far. Always nice to start out like that. The other thing they've had going for them tonight is their passing. I mean, doing a nice job. Plenty of their points early on coming off assists. In terms of rebounding, it's been a sensational opening quarter. I like sensational. That's a good word for it. Russell kicks to Prince. Pass to Rivers. Let's the three fly. And again, Minnesota with the triple. Boy, what a fantastic opening quarter for them. Yeah, it sure has been. Look at the lead they've jumped out to already. Impressive. Here's Beverly. And again, no good by the Lakers. And Davis can't get it to go. Minnesota leading by 13. And there's the feed to Prince. Dishes it to Rivers. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Russell. And again, Minnesota with the triple. They're going back to the three-point shot over and over and over. That was the ninth straight point from behind the arc, Clark. It feels like they've been finding the holes in this defense. Now here's Westbrook. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Davis setting the pick for Westbrook. In the loaded Davis. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. How about this whirlwind journey the last few years for Anthony Davis? Unheralded for most of his high school career. A sudden growth spurt. Leads Kentucky to the national title in 2012. Then the number one pick in the NBA draft in 2012. And a chance to play with Team USA and win gold in London. Wow. He's off on the first. And for Davis, he didn't win the Rookie of the Year. He missed a number of games, but hard to label his rookie season a disappointment. Now, an encouraging start. Already one of the best big men in the game. He showed more offensive skill than a lot of people gave him credit for. And I, I think if he can stay healthy and get stronger and continue to grow, he, he's really going to be something. No good at the strike this time. Second misses also. Minnesota leading by 16. Feeds to Rivers. Wide open. Kept alive. Minnesota tipped away. Stolen by Walker. And Beverly kicks to Anderson. He feeds it to Beverly. Good on the triple. 
Beverly's got his first three points of the game. You can't leave him alone, especially from long range. And there's the pass to Reed. Back to Anderson. He kicks to Prince. Anderson. Here's Rivers. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. He dishes it to Beverly. Davis with a screen on Prince. Beverly with a pass to Anderson. Davis. From out of the wing, he knocks it down. 135 left to play in the first. Rivers off a bit from Reed. Rivers dishes to Prince. Trains the three-pointer. And the Timberwolves lead by 14. That's now a dozen straight points coming off wide open three-pointers. You know what it looks like to me out there, guys? I mean, it looks like All-Star Weekend out there. We know how much defense is played. There is actually defense during the All-Star Weekend, no deep. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist number. And theirs are fantastic. It's just beautiful basketball to watch, Clark. Nobody near him. He'll normally make that one. And Walker kicks to Jones. Beverly, now the dish to Walker. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. There's 47 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Passes it to Rivers. Kicks to Anderson. Fires from deep. Here's Reed, and the layup falls. You know, down there in the low post is where you really want to create a lot of your offense. Lakers trail by 13. Davis sets a screen. From deep, Walker. No good. The Timberwolves go the other way with it. And Forge kicks to Anderson. Anderson gets the screen from Reed. Pass to Rivers. Jumper off the screen. And that one goes long. Here's Walker. The shot no good. And an overpowering first quarter effort. Already a double-digit advantage. But Timberwolves on top. They lead by 13. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching.